Bye. Hey buddy, how are you today? I'm doing good. So I got this message from uh, from this guy from the uh, US. He told me, Marcus, will you join my college Zoom class at 11 a.m. Eastern US time? I just wrote back like, that would actually be dope. It would be <laughs> funny, but I'm just scared. <laughs> and I asked if it's if his teacher was there as well. He's like, yep, not too many people are on it, but it would still be funny if you came on. Just ask stupid questions. <laughs> on the after it's bunk is a fob. In phosphor phosphor phosphorylation reactions. So whenever about uh, I got it. substrate level phosphor I think Marcus knows that one. Okay, Marcus. He helped me out with that. Okay. Alright. Um I'm not too sure. Can you say the question again? Yeah, when do substrate level phosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation occur? Uh, give me some time on this one. I need to think. Sure. Hey, Boo, can you help me out? Um. I can't remember this one either. I wish I could pull up that document. Yeah, I'm kind right. of struggling uh, too. Uh, what's, um. <laughs> All right, question number six at a chondrial membrane. How many protons are transferred across the mitochondrial membrane by 10 NADH and 2 FADH2? Isn't it like 55? Well, uh, well for each one, if you have 10 NADH, uh, how many Marcus protons Cleveland? are... Is that the Marcus Cleveland? Snowboarder? Yeah, I need to get into class. This dude won, like, the X game. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way, dude! <laughs> <In my class? laughs> what up, boys? I'm not gonna take up your class right here. <laughs> keep on, keep on going. <laughs> um, I think I have other people that are not in my class joining in. Wait, Marcus, yeah, see you. Wait, <laughs> wait no, like Dr. Rubart, Dr. Rubart. Yes. Yes. Marcus Cleveland won the X Games knuckle huck in Norway. There's no okay. way that's him. Is it you? No. Wait, turn on your camera, Marcus. Can I have your autograph? What? Oh my god. It's no Marcus Cleveland. Way. What up, boys? That's the homie. <laughs> Alright, you guys keep on with the school and uh, stay safe, everybody. <laughs> Damn. He's out. An autograph? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Dude. Wait, hey, before you leave, I just want to say you're like my inspiration. Thank like, you. I don't know how you got on here, <laughs> but that's awesome, dude. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Of course. See Bye. You, <laughs> <laughs> I think I have. People that are not in my class in this meeting? <laughs>
If not, would you like to try it? Um, I actually went to Japan in 2015 with Aero and Heike. It was super fun and the video is out on YouTube. I guess just uh, search for Marcus Cleveland POW. Um, yeah, that was such an awesome trip. I uh, got to jump some pillows and um, yeah, just experience a new type of POW riding. And uh, I wouldn't mind going back there and film some more, ride some more. And Wim293, did you live at a ski resort back in the days? Um, I basically, or I grew up right here and I still live here. I live at my parents' house. Um, I actually bought myself some property, like just across uh, the resort. Um, so I'm gonna build a house over there. Uh, and this is my backyard. So uh, I st yeah, still have uh, the resort as my backyard and uh, not complaining. It's super nice. Even Fausgangir. Favorite tricks. My favorite trick to do is definitely has to be a knuckle and then you go up on the nose like nose butter and then cork 450 out that's like the the most fun thing to do like not scary uh, Vicky underscore Fargy uh, fab trick to do on a skateboard 360 flip Matthew underscore 0149 tits or ass ass Joello dot K what's your favorite pizza pizza with uh, ham salami and cheese or taco pizza, that's also really good. Manfred.Malmos, who was your favorite snowboarder growing up? Either Torsten Horgmo, uh, Travis Rice, Heike Sorsa, Aero, like all those uh, all those guys. Uh, Jaris, Jaris, Jaris or Brigan. What are you expecting in the future? Um, it's really hard to like tell what's gonna happen in the future. Um, but I don't know, I'm gonna live at my house like right over there, just snowboard for as long as I can. Um, and uh, I don't know, have fun with the cars still and live life, I guess. <laughs> so, Tim Vailty? Uh What is your favorite ski resort besides them in Norway? Besides Norway, it has to be like Parish or Australia, um, Stubai, Austria, um, South Fe is also really good, Switzerland and locks Austria Switzerland Switzerland <laughs> locks Switzerland <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah locks has to be like top favorite that one's really good Maximus underscore Nilbrink what is your hardest trick and why um <sighs> help me up brother <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's a lot of hard tricks like I would say like I learned frontside triples when I was uh, or like back in 2017 2017 I did a frontside triple and I landed it clean and it felt good but I tried it again a couple weeks later and I just lost it and I just want to get him like back in the body but it's so weird like spinning your opposite way Gassner underscore Tony uh, scariest first try of a trick you have ever done uh, that has to be the first time that I also tried the frontside triple cork. Uh, that was on the knuckle that we're sitting on right now. It was, um, yeah, sent it way too hard and over rotated the frontside triple and landed straight on my, like really, like a sofa and just, yeah, cracked my neck. Wasn't good. We can roll the clip. Roll the clip. Roll, <laughs> roll the clip. Isaac y Peltola. Okay, how many broken bones? I broke my collarbones like one of them two times and then the other one one time. Um, and then broken my kneecap into like a lot of pieces. I've been super lucky with like injuries. Hopefully the kneecap was the last like big injury and now I'm free to go again. It's a crazy sport that we're doing and everybody wants to push it to the limits and yeah. Everything can happen. Felix.amon.fa, why are you so good? Uh, thank you for saying that. Uh, I've just been riding a lot of snowboard. Um, haven't really thought too much of like being a pro or, or anything. Everything just like, you gotta start somewhere and then it just keeps on going. Um, I'm just happy that I can 
like travel around, snowboard, and uh, make a living for myself of snowboarding. Because I don't really see this as a job. I just see it see it as that like it's the same now that it was like ten years ago. Same fun, same friends, same same. That's just nice. Vatna Oscar, have you ever done an 18? Build a clip. Boom. One, two, three, four. Quad 1800. That was insane. The uh, rice. You on the rice? Uh, how to lose the fear after injuries. I don't know. Like I'm still scared. Like with my knee after the injury. But um, don't stress too much. Everything takes time. But um, yeah, you you just gotta ride as much as possible and feel comfortable again. I guess that's what I did. And I'm still not like 100% comfortable. And I don't think I will ever be. Just gotta work up the, the confidence. Confidence. <laughs> <again. laughs> so Ray, Ray Francisco, how long have you been snowboarding? Um, I've been snowboarding since I was three years old. And now I'm, I'm turning 21 in a month. So... Like 19 years? No. 18 years. Been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Multi will. Blondies or brunettes? I would say blondies. <laughs> kind of have to. Santi dot wet. Your advice for a young guy, girl that wants to snowboard professionally. You just got to ride a lot. Don't think too much about becoming a professional. Yeah, don't rush anything. Just go out, have fun. Yeah, if you're not having fun, it's no point of doing it. Learn the basics, just push yourself. But not to a, a bad point. Larsen, what car do you have? I have a Audi RS6 2015 model. The new one just came out and I really want to sell mine and buy the new one. But time will show, maybe in summer. J Blonde, 901. Biggest mental battle be being a pro. I don't know, it's just like traveling back and forth takes uh, a lot of energy, like country to country, uh, contest, contest, back and forth. It's not really like when it's season, like contest time, uh, you don't really have too much time to do like just ride for yourself or film it's just like back and forth with uh, competitions and that gets kind of uh, intense sometimes so like this past year has really uh, been helpful with me to like get to do those kind of things again um, just ride for myself just film and uh, have fun with it and now I feel like I'm really ready again to go back in yeah do the competition things because like the adrenaline rush is it's nice to have in the body Elias Mirna underscore 05 do you think that you could win World Cup if you had gone for skiing and not snowboarding um, <laughs> I don't know but I used to like ski a lot when I was younger I have a couple skiing videos on my YouTube channel so you can go check them out I also did a double cork on skis once and that was when I was like 12, like 11, 12 years old. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I pursued skiing, I don't know what it would be, but I guess I would be shredding. I think it would. It would be fun. We're going to film a skiing edit once this corona thing is all done and we can go back to the nor normal life again. Oven Cows wants your advice with better tricks. Can you show him? Kind of. Kind of. I mean, we can strap in and yeah, show. for sure. Okay. I also have my bindings at minus three, plus nine. I've gotten a lot of like that's the the weirdest stance that I've seen, but it's not that bad. I also ride a bit narrower stance. Um, just want to try something else, basically. So I tried that in the X Games, Norway. 
I think I'm gonna go back to like a more wide stance. It's a little bit better for big jump. Butters, it's really not that hard. You just gotta have some speed and then you just put your shoulder, shoulder a little bit down and you press and then pop out if you want to do that butter. You have a lot of options. You also have this butter. You just gotta find a balance point on your board and work with it. Just stay at home and try, like on a carpet. Just work on your balance. Play this. Find a point. Okay, that was it for the Q&A. Hope you guys liked it. We're gonna stay safe out here. And hope you guys are doing too. Yeah, we'll see what we're gonna come up with in the next video. If you guys have any things that you wanna see, not snowboarding, shoot us questions, shoot us some ideas, and we'll figure something out. Thank you guys, peace.